Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, pretty much got the how to make. Oh, I I'm not gonna lie. I low key forgot. This be happening to me anyway. Got the how to make a bounty, I guess you could say, slash honor system as well. Um, I'm gonna be modeling it after, sorta of after the uh, Blocks Fruits one. I don't like fully know exactly how it works. So if there's anything I got wrong, anything you wanted me to add on, if you guys could just leave that in the uh, comment section and stuff, and then I'll think about if I want to add that or not. Include that like in like a part two or updated version and stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple bounty system and stuff. Pretty much whenever you kill somebody um it's gonna you know add it's gonna add bounty i just want to clarify that it's not a bounty system where like you manually place a bounty on somebody like you you know choose choose a player in a server and then put money on their head or something like that like no it's every time you kill somebody it then uh what's it called your bounty increases so yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so of course for a bounty so, you know to make a bounty system i'm going to need to of course need uh, make a combat system if you already have a combat system you can just test with that but we need a combat combat system to test um go ahead and make it and stuff up but i'm gonna like go through it and stuff you know like kind of fast but i'll still explain because like if you actually want to see the end of the video of me explaining every single line then um i'm about to make a uh combat system go watch my how to make combat status system how to make combat with hitbox videos like go watch those videos and stuff but yeah Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, first things first, I got some sound effects in sound service. They're just punch sound effects, punch sound effects. You guys can get them from the toolbox. Then I'm gonna insert a remote event into replicated storage. I'm going to rename said remote event to combat event, right? I'm then going to open up starter player, then insert a local script into starter player scripts. I'm then going to rename said local script combat script and in parentheses, I'm going to put local enter right i'm gonna i'm going to delete print hello world we're gonna create two variables first we're gonna get the sound service for the sound effects i'm gonna say well oh, sorry sorry not um not sound server sorry we're gonna get four variables sorry we're gonna or create four variables first we're gonna get the user info service we're gonna say local uis equal to game service user input service then i'm going to create a variable for the combat remote event local combat event is equal to game that we're Replicated storage, wait for child, combat event, right? Then I'm going to create a variable for the local player. I'm going to, or actually, we, eh, I don't need that, never mind. I, I needed that before. So we're going to create a variable for the attack number, local attack number is equal to one because remember, it's going to be a basic M1 system. So I'm then going to say uis.input began, connect function, and print is going to put input, comma, processed. Enter, you're then going to say if input that user input type is equal to enum that user input type that mouse button one and not process, which pretty much means the player is clicking while the chat is not open. Then enter, you're then going to say if attack number is equal to one, then attack number, well, you're going to set it equal to two. And when you're going to fire the remote event, comment event, fire server in quotation marks, you're going to put M1, comma, and then in quotation marks, you're going to put left punch to specify that, you know, you're going to throw a left punch. Then you're going to type the word else. Copy and paste this. So control C, control V, boom, change the one to two, and then change the two to one. Right. And then of course you're gonna change left punch to right punch. And just like that, we have finished setting up the local script. We can then move to the server script. So then I'm gonna open up server script service, and then I'm going to insert a server script into uh server script service, right? I'm then going to uh insert you guys can insert your animations, so the plus icon uh Throw the animation inside of the script, throw your animation ID inside of there. You guys have to use your own animation ID and name them, right? So then you're just going to throw them inside of the script. And then I'm going to rename the script. You guys know combat script in parentheses put server, right? I'm then going to print, I'm going to delete print hello world. And then for our first variables, we're just going to need to get a variable, create a variable for the sound service and then the combat remote event. So local SS equal to game get service sound service. Let's go ahead and save us some time. Let's copy and paste the combat event from the local script. So control C, control V, boom. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and set up our first function for when the players join the game. I'm gonna say game that players that player added connect function in parentheses put PLR which is short for the player. Then enter. We're then going to create a leader stats folder so the players can view how much their bounty is. So I'm gonna say local leader stats is equal to instance dot new parentheses quotation marks you're going to put a, you're going to create a folder parenthesis to the player then you're going to say leader stats that name is equal to quotation marks leader stats make sure you spell that exactly as i have then we're going to create the bounty value so local bounty is equal to instance that new you know uh, we're going to 
make it a number value, parent this to the leader stats folder. Then you're gonna say bounty.name is equal to bounty. And then bounty uh, dot value is equal to zero, right? I'm not going to include data saving stuff. I do a video on data saving. You guys are interested to see that and stuff. Um, if the video gets lots of love and support. I'll, I mean, I'll go ahead and include data store in part two if the video gets lots of love. So yeah. So we're going to set the uh, bounty value by default, you know, to zero. Unless you want to set it somewhere else. I don't know. Then we're going to set up a function for whenever the player's character joins. We're going to say player dot character added connect function in parentheses put character enter you're then going to create the hitbox this is for the combat so we're going to say local hitbox is equal to instance that new you want to put part then you're going to put comma character that humanoid root part right then enter then going to set the properties so hitbox that name is equal to in quotation marks hitbox Hitbox dot anchored is equal to false hitbox dot mass. Oh, they're not meaning to do that. Okay. Hitbox dot mass list is equal to true. Hitbox dot can collide is equal to false. Then hitbox dot transparency is equal to one unless you're testing. Hitbox dot size is equal to vector three dot new five comma six comma five point five enter then hitbox dot color is equal to color three dot new one comma zero comma zero that's for testing and then lastly we're gonna say hitbox pivot to set its C frame we're gonna say character dot humanoid root part dot C frame and then I'm going to weld it to the player's humanoid root part so I'm gonna say local weld constraint right constraint is equal to instance that new quotation marks you want to put well constraint to parent this to the player's characters humanoid i'm sorry not character humanoid part parent this to the hitbox then you're going to say well constraint dot part zero is equal to hitbox and well constraint dot part one is equal to the characters humanoid root part right and boom just like that right then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next function, which is going to be the on server event function. We're going to say combat event that on server event connect function in parentheses put plr to server player comma event type comma uh arg one show for argument number one then press enter, and then we're going to create a variable for the player's character. We're going to say local character is equal to player dot character. We're going to set the if statement so if event type is equal to quotation marks. Remember the name of the event is m1. So enter. And then I'm going to set up the animation track. This is why naming is very important. I recommend using the same naming as I did for the animations. You're going to say local at is equal to character dot or dot wait. Oh, sorry. Character dot animate or wait. No, 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 no. It's parent to the humanoid. Yeah. So character dot humanoid dot animator dot uh, sorry. Load animation. Right. And then quotation marks you're going to put script regular bracket arg1. Right. Then enter and then you're going to say at play right then i'm going to then just go ahead and of course play the sound effect so ss dot punch sound effect play right and then i'm going to set up the ray casting so i'm going to say start position let me scroll down a little bit so start position is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot hitbox uh, it's supposed to be a capital B, I think. Wait, wait. Actually, no, it was supposed to. Yeah, it's supposed to be lowercase, actually. Yeah. So hitbox dot position. Then local direction is equal to the same thing. So it's control C, control V, then just changes this to, to C frame dot look vector, then set up the raycast params. I'm going to say local raycast params is equal to raycast params dot new close parentheses then you're going to press enter say raycast params dot filter type is equal to enum dot filter raycast filter type dot exclude raycast params then you're going to say dot filter descendants instant instances is equal to special brackets you're going to say character get descendants right then i'm going to set up a raycast i'm going to say look local I'm going to say local ray is equal to workspace ray cast. And then I'm going to for origin, of course, it'll be start position, comma, direction, comma, throw the ray cast params there, boom, right? Then I'm going to set up a long if statement. 
So I, I always forget to do this. I don't know why I always forget to do this. You also want to multiply this by uh, a number that's greater than three. Like it could be three, but a number at least it has to be at least three, but it could be greater than three. So then I'm gonna set up an if statement. So first, if Ray, so if the Ray was successfully cast and Ray dot instance, which means it uh, made contact with an instance, and of course Ray dot instance dot parent my first child humanoid, which means it's either an NPC or a player. And lastly, Ray dot instance dot I'm sorry, Ray dot instance dot parent dot humanoid dot health is greater than sorry is greater than zero so of course you know we don't want this to run if like they're already dead we don't want it running if, like while they're dead then we're going to create a variable for the enemy character local enemy character is equal to ray dot instance dot parent then i'm going to say ss dot db punch dbz punch sound play so my other punch sound effect and then i'm also going to you know do some damage enemy character dot humanoid dot health is less than equal to five or however much damage you want to do then i'm going to set up one last if statement i'm going to say if enemy character dot humanoid dot health was pretty we're pretty much setting this up so if the players i mean if the enemy died so less than or equal to zero so if their health is zero or, or a negative number which means they're dead then going to say player dot leader stats dot bouncy that value is plus equal to however much you want to set it to i'm gonna set it to 50 right so it'll increase by this each time they kill somebody right if you want a more s specific one like say if like a marine killed i don't know if a marine killed another marine then their bounty is like it'll increase by 200 but if a marine kills a pirate then it increases by you know like 50 or, or like if you want more specifics then show the video lots of stuff and i got you but anyway let's go ahead and test to make sure this works as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description if you're interested highly recommend you guys should check it out but as you guys can clearly see in the top right i have my bounty right it's zero by default open the leader sets photo we have bounty right here boom so and i have my uh i also have my uh what's it called you guys can see the m1 system is working just fine so i actually need to stop testing because i forgot to actually click avatar rig builder and then throw in a rig so i can actually test okay so once you have your rig that you can go in and test or if you're testing you know with like a friend or whatnot we can go ahead and move over to the rig so i'm gonna spam so i'm just gonna spam it obviously in actual game there would be a cooldown and stuff but this is for demonstration demonstration purposes so there's no need for a cooldown so boom 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 i'm gonna keep going and then they're dead as you guys can see it increased by 50 but as you can clearly see i'm still making contact with them but it's not um you guys don't hear the secondary sound effects and stuff because it didn't pass the check since their health is less than zero so but the health will have to be greater than zero for all this to play for this to this to play but since it's not it won't play so yeah boom that's how you make a bounty system and stuff oh if you guys want me to drop a part two all you gotta do is show this video lots of love and support and i definitely got you because honestly it's very easy and simple to make so i'll definitely i'll be down to make it more advanced and stuff so you guys just show the video lots of love and support and i hit you and i got you with a part two thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video leave like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching